This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hello, everybody! Happy weekend to you all! We'll be continuing with the Fruit of Grisea today. Last time, it looked like Yuji and the class were making plans to visit the beach. Which, hey, that sounds pretty cool. I wonder if we'll be going there this stream or not. I won't be able to stream for super long today, I'll probably just the two hours, maybe two and a half, but I do have other things planned after this, so... I hope we go to the beach today. Regardless, we gotta continue to find out. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Alright. Ah, that's right, the laundry room that has the uh, coke machine. Hmm? Uh-oh. What's going on? When I arrive at the third floor, I find an unusual scene waiting for me. Sachi's wandering around, shouting out Amine's name. Is somebody walking around with uh, wet rubber boots? That's what it sounds like. I didn't notice. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't disrespect your elders just because they're your elders. That's not a cool thing to do. No, stop talking like a little kid. This better not be about that terrible superhero show. Ooh! Yeah, you need you do need to grow up, Makina. I think you're asking the wrong person, though. Makina's vague description of her objective prompts an in instantaneous fiery blush from Amine. Sorry to butt in, but I'm positive you're misunderstanding something here, Amine. Uh oh. I hope it means she wants to grow up. <laughs> so she just wants to become a woman because the TV told her to. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a problem. Makeup can be useful, but it's not necessary. <laughs> so, <laughs> so dog is man's best friend and makeup is woman's best friend? That I don't I don't think so. That's not good. That's not good. Oh look, Mobius is playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. By the way, impressive work as always, class rep. A concise and edifying report. Oh, uh, we are totally going after Sachi. <laughs> yeah, Amine, we can tell you wear truckloads of makeup, so teach us how to do it, too. <laughs> Sachi's the kind of girl who doesn't need makeup. She just looks naturally good. Makina, it doesn't have anything to do with your bus size, it has to do with the way you act. <laughs> Makeup! Makeup! That a fact? Hmm. I have lots of bags under my eyes. Does that mean I need makeup? No, it does not. I see. <laughs> oh man, everyone's playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. That's okay. I knew they were going to. 
I can't join in because I'm streaming this and then visiting my family afterwards. That's not... Well, okay, I guess you could take that a bad way. Really? If you're using cosmetics frequently, it's not particularly noticeable. Alright, that's fair. Is there a need to worry about that? I would rather a girl use less makeup than more makeup. That is that is how I personally think. Well, I'm not a fan of women who plaster it on, no. They end up looking like clowns. I see. When it comes to manipulating the complexion, I'm more familiar with face paint for camouflage purposes. But there are clearly some fairly large differences. Uh, yeah. I mean, hey, you might as well learn sooner rather than later, right? <laughs> this is gonna turn into Ruby's beauty school, isn't it? Sachi bows deeply in earnest supplication. Amane hesitates for a moment, thinking the matter over with an uncomfortable expression on her face. <sighs> Alright! <laughs> this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Yoshi! Makina shouts happily and throws her hand up in the air, exchanging an energetic high-five of Sachi. Aw, that was cute. <laughs> nice to see you, Michiru. Oh, come on, you can't tell me that Michiru doesn't know how to put on makeup. I feel like she'd be all over that. Don't make her feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it's true, it's true, Michiru. Your sprites are exactly the same. Or any less of an airhead, apparently. Where did you come from? Come on, there are only six people here. If you're getting lonely, you're gonna look for people. <sighs> oh, come on. Yumiko probably knows how to put it on. I can't believe that Michiru does not. I feel like Michiru would be, like, the girliest girl of them all. That's just my impression. Why? Why is OBS getting in the red so much? I'm not doing anything different from normal streams. Hmm. Wow, Machina! I only just now read what she was saying. <laughs> that is cutting deep, but also not inaccurate. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, I'm sure Yumiko wants to do this. <laughs> Yuji's not gonna join in because men don't use makeup. Unless they're actors. She does not look like she wants to be here. It's been a few minutes since Sachi accepted Amine's request. Sakaki stands before my eyes with a resigned expression on her face, and her hands bound behind her back. We're gonna have fun! <laughs> Not shown, she's literally been lassoed. 
この機会に覚えておいて損はないと思うわよそれはどういう意味 I, I'm still surprised that neither Michiru nor Yumiko apparently know how to use makeup. Sakaki san, Saikin, Ohada ga are るこ o ga o i でしょう Rude. Do, do, ste so no koto mo. Yoku yo fukashi ste ru mitai da si? Junk food mo ski mitai da kara ne? Well, junk food is delicious, and the night is young. Oh, the night is young. Oh, the night is young. I feel like Yumiko would be the last of the girls to be romantically interested in Yuji. But that said, she does still have a root, so. Amine delivers her advice along with a wink or two, before Amon Sakaki responds with a small nod. Really? Alright, Sachi. <laughs> wow. With one sentence, Sakaki's been pierced to the core. For Sachi, whose role is to establish order among the group, such sharp and ruthless insight may prove to be a truly indispensable asset. Beauty school dropout. <laughs> and then I'm just here supervising. <laughs> I'll be giving people face paint lessons. Good question. I can leave if I'd be a distraction. <laughs> I can be like, nope, that makeup looks bad. Wow. <laughs> I don't entirely follow, but it seems that Amine has a surprisingly devious side. What do you mean surprisingly? She's been devious this whole game. Got it. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> I'll just call you out if you're starting to look like a clown. Oh boy. We would get this little manga. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody smile now. This is going to be fun. Not. <laughs> yes, first you whitewash yourself with saline solution. <laughs> While Amina answers her students' questions and provides general guidance, each of them begins to apply their own makeup. Oh boy. Seeing women putting on cosmetics like this is probably a fairly rare opportunity for a man. I must admit, it's actually somewhat interesting to watch. <laughs> you gotta protect the skin. That's a must. I'm pretty sure your pores are supposed to be invisible to the naked eye. Unless you're getting really close to someone. Makana, don't eat the lipstick. <laughs> don't be like Morris in his disappearing bag. <sighs> we should really do something about the infantile habit the girl has of putting anything and everything in her mouth. Preferably before she ends up poisoning herself. Yeah, like seriously, she... <laughs> She's even younger than eight. Amine finishes her cosmetics demonstration, prompting a small chorus of admiring oohs from the audience. The makeup tribe is not a particularly fun one. <laughs> Take him, Amine. People here are ruthless. But what's the plan now? Everybody probably wants to apply stuff in their own way to cover up different things, right? I'm trying to think what everyone would want. So Makina's already said that she wants a lipstick. Is that really what makeup feels like? 
If so, wow. Ma, Narelu made a Yuakan Arukamone. Ano, what does she more take him as that? What does she more take him, Dakito? None of you look any different. Kona Kanji de Hino Kasura. Oh, he Kanji, he Kanji. Mina Kokomade were chanted to treat the correctors. Man, when they said we were going to school, I didn't think we'd be learning about important things like this. Amine inspects everyone's individual workmanship, nodding in apparent satisfaction. Oh boy! Hi! Oof. Somehow, it really has turned into a pretty respectable little classroom. Hi, Sanjipun! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them are going to look like clowns? I want to know. As the timed alarm goes off, Amine returns to the lobby after a half-hour absence. Having completed her instruction on the finishing touches, she decides to hold a little examination at the very end to evaluate her students' capabilities. She just left them on their own? Oh no. <laughs> I can't imagine Yumiko has put on that much. I feel like Yumiko and Sachi would do a decent job on their first try, and then Makina and Michiru probably will not. Oh, yeah. She looks basically no different. I like that. That's very, very subtle. Which is how makeup should be. Yeah, you're right. It's a nice, light level of makeup. Not unpleasant to look at. I'm surprised she's acting like that and not being like, What did you say about me? <laughs> Hi, Marty. <laughs> I ate 15 boxes of crunch! Uh, you're, so right now, Amine is giving everyone lessons in applying makeup, and it's... As a guy, it's interesting to listen to. <laughs> okay. Michiru could have done a good job, or maybe she did a bad job. We'll have to see. Oh, no. I am not a fan of false eyelashes, and those are some, um, big, fat, honking ones. What the heck? Nobody should wear that many false eyelashes. Oh, jeez. It's honestly not as bad as it could have been. She doesn't look like a clown, but that's not very appealing. <laughs> don't you know Sundaris always have big eyelashes? Like, I don't think that's true. Yeah! <laughs> what? That is five too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even understand the appeal of false eyelashes in general unless you, like, burned your eyelashes off somehow. But, like, why would you put on five pairs? <laughs> Looks like a wolf tail. <laughs> hmm, the only element that says Sundere to me right now is your hairstyle, to be honest. Oh boy, what- I I need to brace myself for this one, I think. Oh no, she looks like a clown! She looks like a clown! No! Oh, oh. Actually, she looks like a clown meets, like, Mulan going off to meet the matchmaker. I guess it's not as bad as it could have been, but no one's, no one's skin should be that white. Not even Snow White had skin that white. これはどういうテーマ？ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Marty, I, I said earlier, I err on the side of less makeup more than more makeup. For me, I'd much rather have someone wear no makeup than way too much. That said, a subtle amount is fine. It can, it can look nice. But you've got to be very conservative about it. Yeah, wander around the neighborhood in this stuff and you're just going to startle people. But that is burned in my mind. I feel like Sachi will do a decent job. Thus far, Yumiko has done by far the best job, because I could barely even tell she had makeup on, which is exactly what you want! <laughs> I, they better play the Hallelujah Chorus. I see. Growing up around talented mechanical engineers might explain why Sachi can deal with such a wide range of hands-on tasks so deftly. Sachi's parents were mechanical engineers, that, or, or did Makina just make that up? I bet Makina just made that up. <laughs> no, now someone else is- Flopsy's playing Ultimate Chicken Horse! Every- all the cool kids are playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. Ugh. Honestly, Michiru- I- I- Michiru doesn't look as bad as Makina. I'm gonna say that. Um, oh, are they not even gonna let us see it? Is it just gonna be like, oh, it was that bad? <laughs> the instant Sachi timidly turns to face Amine and the others, there are four simultaneous exclamations of pure shock, and then a long moment of silence. How bad could it be? How bad could it be? What's wrong? Rendered speechless by her skill? Hmm. If she's done that great of a job, I'd like to see for... Uh-oh. I start to walk around the group to get a clearer look at Sachi's face, but Amine quickly blocks my way. Why not, exactly? It, it, it's hard to have been worse than Makina's. Maybe it's worse. <laughs> Maybe she accidentally applied the Halloween makeup. Oof. Hmm. For whatever reason, it seems this particular work isn't for my eyes. <laughs> the Lorax was honestly a pretty okay movie until the Lorax showed up. Like, the first 20 minutes of it were actually very enjoyable, and then it's like, oh, this movie kind of sucks. Sachi <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need makeup. She's already beautiful. But Francine doesn't have any, and she sure could use some. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Taylor Swift was like the main female lead in that, wasn't she? <laughs> How's it going, Nick? Marty, literally everyone was savage in r <laughs> Like, even Grandma Fora could be savage at times. <laughs> no, I want to see her face now! Wow. Well, I mean, she actually, Makina's not wrong. In the end, Sachi has been forcibly carted off stage. Uh, no, I wanted to see it! Uh, the exact circumstances remain something of a mystery, but one thing is perfectly clear. You can't take your eyes off of our class rep for a second. Or shouldn't, at least. Incidentally, after this incident, Makina would never again express an interest in makeup. 